who are right on track in the world of academia, where Honorable Dr. Joyce Atieno Sogo is found as an academia. Number two, Mr. Speaker, I rise to support Beatrice and Dr. Oduol for having achieved in academic standards. And that was evidence on how they presented their cases, on their publication, and thorough mastery of content on what they are going to represent the Kenyans. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the two ladies, and I wanted to go on record that I salute, it must be on record, His Excellency Baba Raila Molodinga for the support of the gender, female gender, for the nominee that was exhibited, that gender rule on female is quite fundamental in this country by the president, Dr. Samuel William Ruto. I want also to say that for the peace which was supposed to be maintained, even it was exhibited yesterday when Baba was in a function that President the late Uhuru also informed that stability was important. Electing and appointing the women creates stability in this country. Order. Ben Suda. Uhuru Kenyatta is a retired president, is not a president elect. Not elect. I'm saying Uhuru is retired. I'm talking on stability. Get the concept of what I'm heading to. I'm talking about stability of this nation. And so I want to say, Mr. Speaker, when this nation has started recognizing the competency of women, women of substance, Women who are academicians, women who are effective, gone are the days, Mr. Speaker, where women thought that their bottom powers can make them rise to power. And we are saying that we are not on occasions where women thought that either through sex they can rise to power. Time up. Dorothy, Dorothy Chiara. Take your seat. <laughs> I can't. Uh thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I also want to join in this motion and commend the appointment committee for the work well done. Honorable Speaker, we are talking about nominees who have qualified to become cabinet secretary after the vetting and who I suppose this house will have consideration and recommend them so that they can go and work for Kenya. Honorable Speaker, I have listened very passively to the speakers in this house. Those who know on a Beatrice very well who has been given the docket of East African Community and Regional Development. And Honorable Speaker, from what I'm getting and even from watching how she performed in the interview, I am convinced this is the right person for that docket. Honorable Speaker, I also listened to the nominee for Attorney General, uh, Honorable the lady Dorcas Odrol, and Honorable Speaker, I'm convinced she is the right person. And Honorable Speaker, I want to say this very quickly. I heard Honorable Junette talking about if these women, and I want to say for record, Honorable Speaker, women, when given and accorded an opportunity, they can be able to perform much better than even the male counterparts. Honorable Speaker, I'm saying this because it's always said, what a man can do, a woman can do it better. Honorable Speaker, I am saying, in the next subsequent nominations, Honorable Speaker, I want... Ms. Mbogo. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir. Honorable Speaker, I stand to support this motion by the Committee of Appointment. Honorable Speaker, from the onset, I want to appreciate His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto for making an history. He has made history today. 
having nominated the first woman who is going to occupy the position of Attorney General in the Republic of Kenya. That is an history, and I want to say thank you. Second history is to nominate a woman from a marginalized community, the Turkana, the first woman, if approved by this house, to be a cabinet secretary in the Republic of Kenya. Thank you, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, for making history. Honorable Speaker, when we are doing vetting, it was really amazing. Dr. Dorcas Angik demonstrated knowledge even on technical issues on the portfolio she's going to occupy. She also demonstrated the path and the roadmap from where we are and where we want to be as a country. The professional experience she has in terms of legal matters. She has worked in the judiciary and so many other areas pertaining law. Honorable Speaker, Madam Beatrice Askul is a person I know. I've been with her in the ODM. She really proved that she's going to bring some measures and strategy to help the community in the Asal area, having been born and bred in Turkana, being part of Asal area. Honorable Speaker, I think this was the best thing which our president has really done for this country. I know now we are making progress in terms of gender mainstreaming or rather gender balance. It's now we are feeling the gender disparity which we have been having in this country. I'm so happy that to Bashir. Honorable Bashir. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, first and foremost, I want to appreciate the appointment committee uh, for the thorough job that we have been doing. I watched the vetting process of these two great uh, women. Uh, during the vetting, and I can attest that uh, you, as a chair of that committee, plus your members, you handled them very well. Coming back to the two great ladies, I want to congratulate them first for making it to the list of being nominated by Excellency the President. These are two women who have demonstrated that they have capacity, they have knowledge and the wherewithal to handle what awaits them. The Attorney General nominee, Ms. Dorcas Odwal, is returning back to the Attorney General Chambers, having worked there before. And so she understands the role expected of her as the next Attorney General of this country. And being the first woman to also occupy that house, she has all the knowledge and the capacity, and that has been demonstrated. To Beatrice Moy, who comes from Turkana, which is also a marginalized uh, uh, part of this country, and coming from the pastoralist community, I want to also thank the president for nominating the first Turkana woman to be in the cabinet of this great nation of Kenya. I know that uh, Beatrice, having worked in Turkana before, and she started from the lower level and risen to the ranks, has the capacity to perform her duties as East African community and regional development. And I'm sure these two ladies will show Kenyans that they have the capacity to perform even better than most people will think. I want Carolo Mondi. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. It gives me great pleasure to stand on behalf of Class of 90, University of Nairobi, to support the nomination of Dokas Oduor as the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. Class of 90, I believe, is the most consequential class in the history of University of Nairobi. We've produced a president and many other leaders in this country. And now we are producing the first female Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. I did join the Office of the Attorney General with Dokas, and we have worked closely together for many years, and have full confidence in our ability to discharge the duties of that office. I'm also very happy to reinforce what Honro Bukoyo said, that Dorcas has waited a long time for this opportunity. She should have been our first DPP under the 2010 Constitution if it was not for negative politics. Most recently, we've been working together with Dorcas on establishing a framework criminal investigations law, which we do not have in this country, so as to help in fighting corruption. And hopefully very soon, I did send a request to your office, we will be able to generate a draft of a bill that will regulate criminal investigations in this country. 
how we train and the qualifications that we require for our investigators, how the process of investigations should be done, and how we can use forensic science and other modern investigative tools in dealing with crime. Secondly, we are also working on uh, nationhood science as a new subject in trying to amend the curriculum so that we could actualize Article 10 of the Constitution as well as Chapter 6. These are some of the matters. I think that draft bill is already with the uh, I mean budget committee, and hopefully when she's the Attorney General, we'll be able to move these things forward. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I did request, uh, and I wrote to you, that when uh, an appointments committee gives us the report, it should be a little more detailed. Uh, you may recommend a candidate, but you should also give us your observations, whether you have any reservation. Morugara. George Morugara. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, allow me also to add my voice to supporting these two nominees who are now before the House and who this House has to approve this afternoon so that they can start discharging their duties. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I sat on the Committee on Appointments and you actually chaired that committee so well and it did a fantastic job. Uh, we've already approved the first badge. This is the second one. Possibly there's going to be a third one, but that shows how serious that committee is and especially the lawyers who actually went through the vetting, most of whom possibly passed through your hands, you mentored them, and they are now the leaders who have to serve the country with the distinction. It goes without again saying that the Lady Beatrice, a school, actually demonstrated great knowledge of uh, regional development especially, including ASAS, where she comes from, and mapping out Kenya as uh, the areas that deserve to be considered as marginalized. As for Dokas Oduo, it is well known, and we now say God's time is actually the best time. She may not have become DPP, she may not have become judge of the High Court or Court of Appeal or Supreme Court, but now she is the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya, and she has to serve the country with a dedication and demonstration of goodwill, as she has done in the past in the areas she has served. Mine would be to congratulate them, and urge them to serve this country in the best interest of everyone as Kenyans. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Asinyen, Women Rep. Trukana. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this good motion. First and foremost, Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank the Vetting Committee for the good job for vetting the two great ladies and bringing them to this level. Mr. Speaker, my gratitude goes to His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto for what he has done. One, for opening up a dialogue with the rest of Kenya, and now this is the results we are discussing today, Honorable Speaker. It started as a candid conversation between him and other leaders and now we are having new names in the cabinet, Honorable Speaker. As the Turkana people, we are very much grateful to His Excellency, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. This is the first time a Turkana woman is appearing in the Kenyan cabinet. And we want to say thank you, thank you. Without forgetting His Excellency, Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, for rewarding loyalty. Honorable Beatrice School has been a strong supporter of one Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. So we want to thank him also for, ident for rewarding loyalty, Honorable Speaker. Now, at the moment, Honorable Speaker, I'm a comfortable leader because I can really see we are headed to the right direction. The country is headed to the right direction. If those marginalized communities are now part and parcel of the decision-making table, Honorable Speaker, we now feel like we are also fully-fledged Kenyans. So we want His Excellency Dr. Samoy Ruto to continue steering the country towards that unity path so that those that have never had a chance to feel to be Kenyans can feel to be Kenyans. I want to thank Bishop Hamala. 
Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I rise to support this special motion on appointment of the Cabinet Secretary and the Attorney General. I want to applaud you, Honorable Speaker, for the good work you did with the Vetting Committee. And uh, Honorable Speaker, I want to say that it's a very good time for women of Kenya because uh, the girl child uh, in the past felt marginalized. But uh, with these appointments, we are seeing that women are getting into their space. Sometimes it's worrying that the boy child may be getting in trouble. So this is a good signal, good indicator for the girl child. And what I know, uh, Madam uh, uh, Beatrice and uh, the Attorney General, Madam Dorcas, these are great Kenyans. And also at the same time, Honorable Speaker, it is important to note that His Excellency President William Ruto and uh, the Right Honorable Raila Molodinga have done something for this country. The issue and the notion of thinking that when a government comes in place, it is just for a specific people or people with shares in that government. This has brought that to an end, where all Kenyans feel this is their government, they are part of Kenya, and we can be proud of being Kenyan citizens, we can be proud of our government, and we can go to those offices without feeling intimidated or thinking that if I don't own a share, I am not part of it. Even the people in Turkana, people in Western Kenya, people in the coastal part of Kenya are now part of this government. Whether they have come in through the door, through the window, even me have come in through the window, and I am on the inside. On the inside, I'm inside. Wanjiku Moya. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. On the onset, I start on behalf of my Committee of Regional Integration to congratulate the two great ladies, especially Honorable Beatrice, who will be working close to us, yes, and also recognizing that the AG is a critical position, particularly this time when we are handling the amendment of the treaty, also in keeping the legal instruments of the community and the AG will time and again be advising the Council of Ministers. Honorable Speaker, I look forward and hope it is during this time of the CS Beatrice, the incoming ESC Minister, we shall realize the ever-challenging issue of financial mechanism. We have always had the remittance avenue, 